Hi guys, Vertus Education here with the 17th video of the Unreal Development Kit Beginner Series. And in the last few videos, I've been going over material creation, including uh, an introduction to the material editor, specular materials, emissive materials, and this is sort of my last video of the materials edit, uh, sorry, the materials section. And in this video specifically, I'm going to be going over the usage of normal maps inside of UDK. So, and I believe I've already explained what a normal map is to you in one of my previous videos, but if I haven't already, um, a normal map is essentially a type of texture map which kind of adds fake texture-based depth to a material. This can be really beneficial seeing as you can use something uh, like a normal map to uh, add sort of minimal depth to an object as opposed to using um, geometrical depth in the form of polygons, tries, or whatever. This can be a lot more efficient and uh, can actually look quite, quite sexy. So I'm going to quickly show you a very brief example of um, normal maps inside of UDK. I found a really nice material where you can see uh, normal maps being used quite well and uh, you know it's very very apparent. So you can see I've got this sort of um, rock material here, some very basic rocks, and I've also got my texture sample for my normal map already. And as soon as I hook it up and put it in, you will see there is a massive change in the depth in the depth of this object. So just watch this closely. Put it in and boom, you get all the sort of shadowing, you get that extra depth and all that good stuff that we really like that uh you know you probably have to you know, put in with uh, geometry yourself if you want to pull off something so well. Keep in mind you can also do uh, texture based depth with a few other texture maps. Uh, for example, you can use parallax mapping for uh, uh, depth based textures as well but uh, normal mapping is the most commonly used and uh, works pretty efficiently so you know there's the example I'm pretty sure you should be able to see what it does it's just essentially texture based depth and uh, I'm going to show you how to apply that to your uh, material setups as well so previously um, you saw that it was just me hooking up my uh, normal material because that's pretty much essentially what it is. Uh, applying a normal to a material is very easy. So you can see that uh, this material at the moment doesn't really have much depth. This, all the depth that you can see isn't actually actual depth, it's all just the specularity, just highlighting those little bits that come out or whatever you want to call them. But you'll see a massive change in the depth when I actually bring in my normal material. So I just want to show you what it looks like in Photoshop beforehand. You can see this material kind of shows and uh, shows exactly which parts of the texture you want to indent or outdent. In this case, you can see that it is being outdented. All the little tiny bits here are going to be pushed out, and the same with the text. I've also got another variation of the normal map, which um, kind of indents it inside. However, for now, I'm just going to be using the one that uh, outdents it. Uh, as you'll be able to see that uh, the most clearly. So let's just put it in. This is really, really simple to do. I'm not necessarily going to be going over some of the complex uh, techniques of setting up things like bump offsets and all that cool stuff. I'm just going to show you how to apply it. So let's get my uh, material editor up if I can uh, find it. One moment. <laughs> wow, that's nice. Sorry, the uh, stop recording button there was right over... Um, uh, minimizing this stuff. So, let's get in and uh, find my... Sorry, it's got a weird Skype message here. So let's get in here and find my normal material. Uh, okay, that's why it's not finding it. So, there we go. I have my normal material here. I'm just going to bring it into my material just by selecting it and pressing T as usual. And boom, it is in. And then I can just simply hook this up to normal and you're going to see that massive change in depth. Keep in mind I'm not actually going to show you how to create these normal maps as um you're going to be uh you're going to need to use some kind of third per uh, third party program. I know Nvidia have got some nice plugins for both GIMP and Photoshop which work pretty well. At the moment I'm kind of uh using a piece of software which actually generates your normal uh, your, your normal map based on the diffuse and kind of just guesses which is pretty cool and that is called smart normal or something like that um, 
Yeah, so this is what I use for generating mine. You can actually just generate these yourself based on a high poly mesh that you've created. As um, usually when you're making a model, you have a low poly, and then uh, you create a high poly which you sculpt out, or you know just add X geometry and then just bake that depth into your low poly for the sake of efficiency. And I apologize for the plane going over. Let me just close my window there. I live right next to Heathrow biggest airport in England and uh, yeah so it's pretty much everything I need to go over for normal materials hopefully you should be able to get that sort of depth that level that you want and uh, have some pretty sweet materials by the end of this so thanks for watching comment like and subscribe and don't forget to check out the next video goodbye oh god my screen's so cluttered